Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and in front of you is a beautiful piece of craftsmanship by my friend Tipene all the way over in New Zealand. This, if you recognise the profile, is a Boomslang hybrid pick profile. Uh, and this is based off my original Boomslang concept. And you might be saying, well, if it's such a good design, why haven't you been using it? Well, the truth is, my original one and my only copy. Uh, which Tepene also made, was uh, sent out on loan many, many months ago, and I've yet to get it back. So, uh, this is a gift from Tepene for my uh, 7,000 subscribers, and I just want to thank him very, very much for this beautiful uh, 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 slimmed boom slang. He's made the handle out of carbon fibre scales, real carbon fibre scales, and the pick itself is made of government seal which is so strong depending was able to make a very thin uh, profile um, and uh, that includes the uh, snake tip and pick so for, the, for those of you who aren't familiar on one side we have a snake rake and the other side we have a shallow hook and the idea behind this is that it'll allow you to have very quick access into uh, locks especially those with spools uh, raking into a false set and then picking the spools afterwards and you can see that um, it gives you a short hook profile which is most people's go-to picks and uh, yeah it's just gorgeous 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 and one thing is the um, handle has almost zero flex great feedback zero flex just because of the carbon fiber Tepene informs me that that it's really really hard to work with um, he has to wear obviously an eye mask and a face mask to protect himself and not only that is the material is incredibly hard apparently so I'm you know really 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 lucky to have um, such a beautifully crafted pick in such an exotic with such an exotic handle as well how we're we going to demonstrate the boom slang off again to remind you of uh, why we designed it in the first place well I have an interesting master lock for you here we go this is the master lock 645 EURD. The EURD bit at the end means it's for the European market. Don't be fooled into thinking this is similar to the crappy Maslock 140s that are out there. Might look similar, but it's not. A couple of things. One, much better bitting. Uh, quite good, secure bitting on this. Some real nice highs, uh, some nice lows. Great bitting. Another one. It's got real spools in. It hasn't got the crappy spools that you find in the Master Lot 140, which are a nice training spool, but they're not very deep. These ones give proper feedback. Um, another thing about this is that the tolerances in it seem very good, and it's a brass shackle. Um, just lovely, lovely, lovely thing. I, I really like this one anyway, and I've chosen it because it probably isn't worth the video on its own, but it does demonstrate the principle of the boom slang off very well and light tension. You can see here that the keyway is at 90 degrees. We're going to go in and lightly rake it with the snake side of the pick until, or if until, we get a nice false set going. There we are, already into a false set. Might not be able to see it so well, but you can see that there's probably a five degree movement on the core there. Now we go in with the short hook and we're going to try and find a spool, and I can already feel one in there. As I put my pick in, just trying to get good placement on it. Yeah, there, I think, yeah. If I move the pick, can you see the core is moving? Maybe you can see the attention tool better. There, there you go. So let's get under it. Okay, set I think, now pin 2, feel that, lots of cancer rotation on pin 2, and we're open, there we go. So those last two pins were pin 5 and pin 2, and you can see that the bitting is quite good, but the 
Boomslang is still able to pick pin 5 without oversetting pin 4 and the same with pin 2 without oversetting pin 1. So this hook profile looks shallow but it's still very usable. So this went in and we probably raked um, pin 4 and 3 quite easily probably bumping pin uh, 1 at the same time like this so that sets all those three just meaning that we had to go in and pick the spools so it's quite a, a, a nice pick for those uh, rapid entries or those uh, uh, lovely spooly locks that you get and uh, just to demonstrate it works beautifully this lock I really like it so um, let me know what you think of Tepene's stunning work uh, below in the comments and um, let me know if you agree with me that this is a really really nice master lock and that once again Europe seems to have got the better end of the deal as far as master locks are concerned. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time